Hey guys, Jason Samkoviak here, Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. Uh, getting ready to get down from the stand site here. All I saw was a little four point down there and uh, just got done making another video. It's almost one o'clock. But I want to give you a couple tips, that little stuff that make a difference for you when you're in a tree stand and you're hunting. Um, one of them, notice how even with the stocking cap, that sun is not hitting me in the eyes and it's on purpose because that sun right now is beating right down on my face but I'm wearing a stocking cap because it's still kind of chilly so a stupid little tip for you but you can take a Y stick like you see right here just a little stick that I actually broke off of up there like that or any kind of stick and you can wedge it right in here put it right against there flip it right up and you can wedge that so that it stands wherever you need it to be and then you have a little mini visor it will stick off of here for you and keep that sun out of your eye. I can still shoot with this. You know, I shoot, my, my string comes in this side, um, but it works like a champ. It's a little simple. You can keep it in there like that too if you want. Flipped up out of the way, want it down, put it down. Now the sun's out of my eyes. So it's a, a great little tip for those mornings when you didn't set up correctly and that sun's kind of hitting you right in the face. Well, we're on the subject of those sticks. You can use them like I do here. Let me reach down and grab it here for you. If you're shooting a traditional bow, I take a piece of stick and I shove it right in my rubber grip and that keeps my arrow from falling off the string. It can't get bumped off. Um, and then when I get ready to shoot, I just grab that and yank it right out of there. And it uh, works fantastic. Just a little, you can see how far down it goes in there. And I just pull it out when I need to. But just a simple little uh, trick for you, for your bow, but you don't worry about it. Um, another one here you'll notice, have somewhere that you dedicate to set your pack on. I have my pack on a carabiner and on my lone wolf stands and on my beast stand I have this bracket with these holes in it I just connect that and drop it right into there just like that it keeps my pack right here where I need it should always have chocolate milk in your pack too it's a good thing to have but that way you can access everything that's in there very easily and your pack stays right there take your straps just put them out of the way that's not anywhere that I'm going to hit that when I move around on that stand so I don't worry about it too much um, this is moved because I just pulled all that out when I lifted it to show you, but if you tuck all that in there, all out of the way, nice and simple for you, gives you a good setup on there. Another thing too with my haul line, my bow pull-up rope. What I do with mine, right here, I put a carabiner on the end of it, like this. Okay, it's just a little carabiner, a little cheap carabiner, and I taped it because it's metal. And when I'm going up the tree, I hook it right on my pants right on here like that so it just hooks on there you know pop it right on there that way as I climb when I get up here I can hook that right on the cable just like this and just drop it and let it go right there wherever it wants to also notice all of my extra haul line is buried in here in this brush I don't if I can prevent having this get down to the ground I'd rather not because this has got a lot of my scent on it and it may also move in the wind so if I got a chance some branches or something I just kind of throw it right on there so it's up here high rather than hanging down there low does it make a big difference I don't believe so I don't think it really matters that much but it's you know why why not and then I don't have to fight and pull it forever to get it back up here it's just sitting right there ready and waiting for me so just a little tip for you um, also you know, if you need to find a place to hang your bow at when you're on a tree, you don't have a bow hanger or somewhere that you can hook onto, um, always carry. I have here in my pocket. I don't ever not have it in my pocket. Hang on, I've got to dig for it because it's down here. But in my cargo pocket, I always carry a bow hook. Like this, just a simple screw and bow hook. i got extra ones in my pack. This is just a little plastic um, electrical connection guard so that it doesn't poke holes in my pocket or my pack just kind of closes up on there like that real simple and easy and I throw it right in my cargo pocket of my pants here like this and it just stays right in there all the time and uh, so I have it available now another thing I do too I have a hand muff in my bag in my pack in the bottom if it's really cold I'll put that hand muff on but even with your hands just being in your pockets like this they can get cold through whatever you're wearing I always I carry these okay just a um, big fleece glove and they're oversized if I put this on let me see if I can do it one-handed here should be able to but 
it's just a big oversized fleece gloves but what's nice about them is i can use them with to keep my hands warm but inside my pockets here like this too they're big enough that if i i can have my hands in that glove in my pocket staying nice and warm but when i gotta shoot it's real easy to pull my hand out of the glove and everything that's in my pocket that whole thing stays right in there um so it's real easy to do that if i have to grab my bow to shoot so if i'm sitting here like this and i need to a deer comes and i need to reach over to grab my bow i can just pull my hand right out and it comes right out of that glove and everything but keeps my hand warm the whole time so and then the other side where i have my tab at what i do is i don't put that glove on but i leave that glove here and i put my the glove is between the outside of the vest and then my hand so it gives me that extra layer of warmth and comfort inside of my pocket vest is another great idea there's no bulk on my arm, so my shooting arm is wide open over here, but I get that extra wind protection and that extra, uh, you know, warmth of having that vest and the nice pockets to keep my, my hands in all because of this vest. And uh, if you're wearing a harness type harness, I'm wearing actually a rock climbing harness. I am tied in right here. Um, but if you're wearing one with shoulder straps, this vest will also keep those shoulder straps from interfering when you shoot and, you know, the buckles on them catching your bowstring. So a vest is a fantastic idea, too. So just a couple little tips for you. Make life easy when you're up in a tree stand. And, uh, you know, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon.